Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the Covenant Highways of Life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Let's rise up on our feet, begin to give God all the glory this morning. Let's worship him and adore him. Let's give him all the praise that is due unto his own name. Thank him this morning for God, for God quickening your step into his prayer this morning. Let's thank him this morning. Let's appreciate God. He's the one that gave you victory all through the course of the night. Let's thank him this morning because indeed he's the God that watches over his children that neither sleep nor slumber. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Let's worship him this morning. Say sweet things to the Holy Spirit this morning. Holy Spirit, you are welcome into our midst this morning. Mazeke toro bali kate seketo me kre ko pale sa mazeke toro bali le krato ko pale kamaze lift up your voice and begin to give thanks unto the Lord this morning for answers to all our prayer all through the prophetic weeks of harvest let us appreciate God this morning even as we go to our harvest field of North and South Carolina God continue oh God of heaven to give us victory let us appreciate God because when we go to the harvest field we come back rejoicing according to His word Lord we thank you Lord God of heaven for the multitude mass salvation of soul. Let's give him thanks this morning. Let's thank him this morning for every new convert and new member, for every challenge winner, every embattled winner. Let's thank him this morning. Let's appreciate God this morning for every member of this great assembly, Winners Chapel International Charlotte. Let's thank you for his divine protection, his divine provision, his divine preservation. Let's appreciate God this morning for his manifest presence in all our services. Let us thank him this morning because of his word that comes to come unto us in a, in, in a greater dimension. Thank you for the sent word that continues to heal and deliver. Let us thank you for the entrance of his word that continues to give light and give understanding to every worshiper, both online and grand. Let's thank you for the covenant hour of prayer platform that God has made available unto us even to approach him each and every day. Thank him this morning because we shall be satisfied with the goodness of the house this morning. Give him thanks with a great father this morning. There shall be free flow of God's spirit this morning in our midst in the mighty name of God. Everything that God has proposed, everything that God has ordained for this covenant hour of prayer on this glorious Tuesday, it shall be delivered to every worshiper. Lord God of heaven, we thank you this morning. Lord, have your way in our midst this morning. And let your name and your name only be glorified in our midst. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying and giving thanks. Let's put our hands together for the Almighty God. Even as welcome the Zion voice. Hallelujah. Lord, we exalt you this morning. We give you all the praise. We worship you for another beautiful day. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great is he. To the Lord be the glory, great peace he has done unto the Lord. Oh, oh be the glory, great peace he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory, great peace he has done.
are giving me. Clap on free this morning. This kind God, oh. hey, I never see your typo. Oh. oh, this kind God, oh. hey, blessed be your holy name. This kind God, this kind God, oh. I never see your type, Jesus. I never see your type, oh. this kind God, this kind God, oh. blessed, blessed be your holy name. Somebody praise. Somebody praise. If you are happy this morning, can you give him a praise offering? Hallelujah. Somebody worship. Somebody praise. Somebody worship. Somebody praise. Somebody worship. Somebody praise. Somebody worship. Somebody praise. Oh, I will worship. I will praise. 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 I will dance. I will praise. I will dance. I will praise. I will worship. I will praise. As it be mighty in your family, as it be mighty in that church, give him a praise that's this money. Jesus is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. Oh, he's the mighty, mighty, mighty. He is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. All power bow before you know. He is the mighty God. Every power bow before him. He is the mighty God. All power bow before him. He is the mighty God. Jesus is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. Jesus is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, that's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. That's what my song will be. Hey, that's what my song will be. That's my song. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big, big clap offering, please, and take your seat. Praise the Lord. I am finally on the covenant highways of life. Beloved, shortly this morning, both online and on ground, we are going to take prayer number one and to pray in this manner. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment upon the God of the land now to resist the growth of this church, resulting in continuous engulfing of abiding multitude all through the ongoing prophetic week of harvest and beyond. Can somebody shout a big amen? Exodus 12, 12, say, For I will pass through the land of Shalom this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of the north and the south Carolinas, both men and beasts, and, I will, and, and against all the gods of the land of north and south Carolina, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. With this in mind, let's be upstanding as we take this prayer from the depth of our heart and pray. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment upon the gods of the land 
out to resist judgment, O oh God. The growth of the land out to resist the growth of this church, resulting in continuous, O oh God, in gathering of abiding multitude all through the ongoing prophetic week of harvest and beyond. Somebody lift up your voice and pray this prayer. Call down the God of judgment to judge every evil God. We decree judgment upon the gods of the land. There are gods in the land controlling and manipulating the people. But this morning, we decree judgment upon the God of the land out to resist the growth of this church. Winners Chapel International Charlotte resulting in the continuous engulfing of abiding multitude all through the ongoing prophetic weeks of harvest and beyond. Somebody lift up your voice and get some more. Let the heavens hear your voice even as you pray with understanding and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment upon the gods of the land out to, oh God, to resist the growth of Winners Chapel International Shalom, resulting in continuous engulfing of abiding multitude all through the ongoing prophetic week of harvest and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree judgment upon the God of the land out to resist the growth of the church. Winners Chapel International Houston, oh God, Winners Chapel International Shalom, that by resulting in continuous engulfing of abiding multitude all through the ongoing prophetic weeks of harvest and beyond. Somebody lift up your voice. It is a prayer that must be answered. The gods of the land must be judged. The wicked God manipulating and trying to stop the people from coming. Let's raise a voice and pray against them. Let the judgment of our righteous God fall upon them. Our Father and our God, we decree judgment upon the wicked gods of the land. How to resist the growth of this church, Winners Chapel International, Shalom. Thereby resulting in the engulfing of abiding multitude. All through this prophetic weeks of harvest and beyond. Somebody lift up your voice and engage. Pray some more. It is a prayer that there must be answered. Therefore, pray with all zeal and zeal. Let the heavens hear your voice. Even as you minister powerful to money and decree the God, the God of judgment. We decree the God of judgment will visit all the evil gods in the land out to resist uh, the continuous growth of this church winner's chapel international shallow thereby resulting in the engulfing of abiding multitude um, all through these prophetic weeks of harvest and beyond. Somebody lift up your voice and engage them. Now, if you believe the Lord has answered your prayer, why don't you lift up your hand and say, Father, we thank you for releasing judgment upon the gods of the land, how to resist the continuous growth of this church, Winner's Chapel International, Shalom. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. Blessed be your holy Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Give Jesus a mighty, mighty clap and please take your seat. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the Covenant Highway of Life. Shortly, we shall be upstanding to take our next intercession, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word that will virtually empty the whole city, towns, villages, estates, suburbs into all our services this year. Amen. The word of the Lord in Acts of the Apostles 13 44 says, And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city. Together to hear the word of God. Within understanding, rise up to your feet, lift your voice to heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word that will virtually empty the whole city, villages, towns, estates, suburbs into all our services this year. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus, continue to send us your word. Continue, Lord, to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word that will virtually empty the whole city, the whole city of Charlotte and neighboring cities, towns and villages, estates, suburbs into all our services this year in the name of Jesus. Father, 
in the name of Jesus. This is our heart cry. This is our prayer as individuals, as a congregation. That Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the rain. Continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word that will virtually empty the whole city of Charlotte and neighboring cities, towns, villages, estates, and suburbs into all our services this year. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Pray some more. Pray a prayer that must be answered. Let your voice be registered in heaven this morning. That Lord, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the rain. Continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering world that will virtually empty the whole city of Charlotte and neighboring cities, towns, villages, estates, suburbs into all our services all this year in the name of Jesus. For you sent a word into Jacob and turned him around. You sent a word into Jacob and it turned him into a nation. Lord, send your word. Send your word of healing. Send your word of turn around. Send your word of breakthrough. Send your word of deliverance. Father, in the name of Jesus. Continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word that will virtually empty the whole city of Charlotte, neighboring cities, neighboring towns, villages, estates, suburbs, into all our services this year in the name of Jesus. Rekoto kotaka zeke rekete keteke mayaze ze rikataka rekoto ko zengengete rikataka mayakata ripata kato kotaka zeketeke rikoto kataka maya zeke father in the name of Jesus. Continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word that will virtually Lord empty the whole city of Charlotte and neighboring cities, towns, villages, estates, and suburbs, Lord, into all our services this year in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, pray some more, pray passionately, pray fervently, let your cry of the word of rain come let your the, let your voice be heard or oh, in heaven this morning that lord in the name of jesus continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering word your crowd gathering word from the east from the west from the south from the north into all our services lord this year in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the rain, the rain, O oh Lord, of your crowd gathering word that will virtually empty the whole city of Charlotte, a whole city of Charlotte, neighboring cities, towns, estates, villages, into all our services this year. In the name of Jesus, Lord, for your word says, the next Sabbath day and any other subsequent days, oh Lord, came almost the whole city together to hear your word. Father, let this be our experience this year in this church, Winners Chapel International, International Shalom. This year, in the name of Jesus, Rekete Keteke, Zeketoko, Mayakata, Zenkerepoto, Likataka. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. We glorify your name. To you alone be all the glory. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Put your hands together and kindly take your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Shortly again, we shall be praising. For in the name of Jesus, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members of this ongoing prophetic week of harvest from being established in this church. Amen. John 10, 5. And a stranger we do not follow, but we flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Without understanding, please join me this morning. Be on your feet and engage your hearts. Pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members of this ongoing prophetic week of harvest from being established in this church. Lift your voice this morning and engage your hearts. Pray in the name of Jesus and silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate 
all our new converts and new members uh, of this ongoing prophecy week of harvest from being settled, uh, from being established uh, in this church, uh, Winners Chapel International Charlotte. In the name of Jesus, is someone praying this morning, lift your voice. Uh, Pray in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members of this ongoing prophetic week of harvest from being established in this church, Winners Chapel, International Shalom. In the name of Jesus, someone is praying this morning. Lift your voice. Let everyone hear you praying. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members of this ongoing prophetic week of harvest from being settled, from being established in the faith and in this church, Winners Chapel, International Charlotte. Pray according to God's word this morning. He said, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they will not know the voice of the stranger. Lift your voice. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, silence every manipulator. Silence every voice of stranger speaking to our new convert and new member from being established in the faith and in this church. Winners Chapel, International Charlotte. In the name of Jesus, our new convert, our new member, they will not listen to the voice of strangers. In the name of Jesus, our new converts, our new member will not listen to the voice of strangers. In the name of Jesus, someone is praying this morning. Lift your voice and cry unto our Father. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, silence the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts, our new members of this ongoing prophetic week of harvest from being established in the faith and in this church, Winners Chapel, International Charlotte. God is hearing your voice of prayer this morning. Pray some more. Lift your voice. Cry the cry of faith. In the name of Jesus. We silence every manipulator this morning. In the name of Jesus. We silence oh Lord, every voice of stranger. Lord, speaking to our new converts. Our new members. From being established. From being settled. In this church. Winners Chapel. International Charlotte. In this ongoing prophetic week of harvest in the name of Jesus lift your voice and get some more pray in the spirit father silence them every voice of stranger every voice of manipulator speaking to our new converts our new members from being settled from being established in this church and in the faith all through this ongoing season of harvest in the name of Jesus, now lift your voice because their voice have been silenced. They have been destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Thank all the glory, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Give me a big hand of praise. I'm pleased to be seated. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the Covenant Highways of Life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Shortly we shall be on our feet and we shall be taking our fourth intercessory prayer, praying in this manner. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release laborers into the harvest field, resulting in the full delivery of the four-level dimension growth ordained for this prophetic weeks of harvest. A resounding amen. This will be based on the understanding and our faith in the word, Matthew 9, 38. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. With this understanding and faith in his word, let us be on our feet and let us pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release laborers into the harvest field, resulting in the full delivery of the four-level dimension growth ordained for this prophetic weeks of harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Let us pray, believing in the name of Jesus, for the continual release of labors into the harvest field, resulting in the full delivery of the four livelihood dimension of growth ordained for this prophetic weeks of harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray, believing, let us pray, expecting, let us pray, expressing our faith in our prayer. And in the name of Jesus, the laborers will be released into the highways and into the byways to bring forth the four level dimension growth ordained for this prophetic season in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray unto the Lord of the harvest. He is able to send laborers into the harvest field for the full delivery of the prophetic weeks of harvest. The four level dimension of growth in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that laborers will be released into the harvest field for soul winning. Laborers will be released into the harvest field for evangelism. Laborers will be released to even win souls for Christ. Laborers will be released to go and go and be as vessels of conviction unto those unbelievers that are out there that God is expecting them to be in his house. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rebakato Zekete, Rebende Brasakota, Rabada Koteze, Rebanda Baro Sekete, Rebanda Bakara Baskole Arabate, Rekete Baso Kata, Rabanda Kato Breseke, Regede Bako Basekate, Rebanda Ba, Rakata Bada, Lebrosa Kata, Rabako Teke, Lebranda Bada Bada Bada, Rakote Zekete Kete Kete Kete. Pray ye the Lord of the harvest. Remember that you are before the Lord of the harvest and whatever that you say unto him is what he will hearken and do it according to our faith in his word and faith in him. Let us express our faith by praying for the release of laborers into the harvest field of North and South Carolina into every nook and cranny. Rekete baso kate, rebanda raba, rakota ze, rekete kete kete, rabada ba, rabada ba sakata, rebranda bada bada bada, lekete kete. Let us pray that laborers will be released because the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Let us pray for the multiplication of these laborers in the harvest field so that they will be used as circles of harvest. To bring in the souls during this prophetic weeks of harvest, a four level dimension in the mighty name of Jesus. Lebra toke, rebandara, rakata baso kete, rekadaba, rabakote, regede banda, rabakata, bakata zo, rekete bazandada, rabadabada. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to release laborers into the harvest field, resulting in the full delivery of the four level dimension of growth ordained for this prophetic weeks of harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into the harvest field. Lebrato se kate regede bala rakote lebrandada rakata baso kete regede basha kata rabaraba rakote zeke regende baso kate regada basa kote ze zeke teke teke te. If you believe that God has heard us and is releasing laborers into the harvest field, let us be thankful unto him. Let us bless his holy name and let us glorify him for that wonderful thing he has done in our lives. And this church will grow to that four level dimension in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Let us stand together for Jesus and please take our seat. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations, amen and amen. We shall yet be rising up to take our intercession number five, and we shall be praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant supernatural hot runs to every soul winner, all through Operation Eat Your Target, amen, leading to massive salvation and ingathering of souls into this church. In the book of Second Thessalonians chapter... 3 verse 1 says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified even as it is with you. With this understanding, shall we rise up as we begin to lift up our voice in prayers? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner. 
All true operation hits your targets, leading to massive salvation of souls and in gathering of souls into our church, Winners Chapel International Charlotte. In the name of Jesus, let's pray at this hour. Let's intercede. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner. All through this operation, hit your target, leading to massive salvation of souls, leading to ingathering of souls into this church. Lord, we pray this morning, we come to you humbly, praying, O oh Lord, interceding for every soul winner, everyone going out there to give out tracts. O oh Lord, we pray. All oh, through this operation, it's your target. Lord, let this lead to massive salvation and in gathering of souls into this church. Now let us begin to see the harvest come into the church. Lord, we pray, let it start from now. Let us begin to see the souls pouring into the church from every corner of our city. In the name of Jesus. Make a taz and a regade, Nemamo Zonto Regadea, Nezinto, Kando Zandaka. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner, male and female, old and young, all through oppression, each your target, leading to massive salvation and in guarding of souls into this church. Oh Lord, we pray this morning from the depth of our hearts, we intercede for every soul winner. Let there be a great gathering of souls into your church in the name of Jesus. Let there be, oh Lord, for your word says, finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified even as it is with you in the name of jesus lift up your voice some more and pray pray from the depth of your heart say father in the name of jesus grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner all through operation each your target grant supernatural strength grant supernatural confidence O oh Lord in the name of Jesus to every soul winner all through operation hit your target and cause this to lead to massive salvation and in gathering of souls into this church winners chapel international Charlotte in the name of Jesus Lord we pray Grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner. All through operation is your target. And let this lead to massive salvation and in guarding of souls into this church. Winners Chapel International Shalom. In the name of Jesus. If you know and believe the Lord has answered your prayers, begin to appreciate his holy name. Thank him, thank him from the depth of your heart. Father, we worship you for answering all our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we have our seat. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant high of life. We have prayed kingdom advancement prayers. And now it's time for personal supplication. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 63, verse 1, O oh God, my God, early will I seek ye. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry land where there is no water. This morning, we have, we have gathered this morning, early in the morning, to seek the face of the Lord. 
In this personal in this session of personal supplication, lift up your voice, take any position of your uh, 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 take any position and lift up your voice. Cry unto the Lord this morning. Let the Lord hear you, the voice of your supplication. Let the Lord hear the voice of your personal prayer. Lord, the word says, hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. Attend to my prayer this morning. Hear my voice, O oh Lord. Hear my cry this morning. Attend to my prayer. Lord, from the end of the earth, I will cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than me. Father, in this prophetic weeks of harvest, in this prophetic weeks of harvest, lead me, O oh Lord, to where my souls are. Lead me, O oh Lord, this morning as I step out. Lead me, O oh Lord, to where the souls are. My soul, my soul waited silently for you, O oh Lord, for my expectations are from you in the name of Jesus. Now rise up to your feet, lift up your voice to heaven, glorify his name, magnify his name, exalt him. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We thank you and thank you, Lord. We celebrate you. We exalt you. Glory and honor be to you. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Put your hands together and kindly take your seats. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. This morning again to move us forward in this service. It is testimony time. A louder my breakthrough time. Please, let's be very attentive to these two documented testimonies. And yours shall be the next in line in the name of Jesus Christ. The first testimony had titled Miracle Job. 
via kingdom advancement endeavors. He said in March 2020, I lost my job due to the pandemic. And ever since, I searched for another opportunity. But no company called me for an interview. However, I decided to be more effective in kingdom advancement endeavors. I reached out to souls and prayed kingdom advancement prayers. I also studied the word of God like never before. I have been able to gather 29 souls in Dubai. And I followed them up on a weekly basis. On the 14th of March, 2021, I connected online for the Covenant Day of Business Breakthrough Service. And I put my point of contact, my phone, under my seat as instructed. Thereafter, Bishop David Oedipo told us to take up our points of contact. And he prayed on them. Lo and behold, 30 seconds later, I received a call from a company asking me to come for an interview on Tuesday. The interview was successful and I've been told to resume work on the 21st of March, 2021. I thank God of my father, Bishop David Oyedepo, for breaking this stagnation in my life. The testifier is Ayobami Olushegun. Are we giving Jesus a big, big hand this morning? <laughs> Number two testimony titled, 10-year HIV positive turned negative. He said in 20, 2006, I was diagnosed with HIV. I joined this commission immediately and came to Shiloh in 2007. When I came, I heard the bishop say that he cannot be sick. And it made me to understand that because I have received Christ into my life, I shouldn't be sick. When I got home, I began to brood over this and decided that I would never take any drugs since Jesus Christ had healed me. I went for tests twice and to the glory of God, I am now completely healed after 10 years celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Secondly, before the third phase of the wonder double prophetic agenda began, I trekked from one place to another because of poverty. I came to Canaan Line and attended the Sunday service. During that service, the bishop said twice, make for me first. Thereafter, I went back home, engaged in wonder double prophetic agenda via soul winning, and I want 12 souls to Christ. Thereafter, God gave me a new vehicle. I give all the glory to the God of this wonderful commission. The testifier this morning is David Idumogo. Shall we rise up on our feet this morning with gratitude in our heart? Lift up our voice and our hands if you can. Celebrate the King of Kings for him alone has done this. Father, we thank you. To you alone be all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed and given thanks. Jam your hands together for Jesus this morning. Lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank him for answers to all our prayer this morning. Thank him for our personal occasion this morning. Thank him as well, even for those jaw-dropping testimony. It can only be him. Thank him this morning because whatsoever the Lord do it, we know that it is forever. Concerning your prayer, concerning praying for the advance of God's kingdom, our pastor's occasion this morning, God has heard and answered our prayer. That's the more reason for you and I to give thanks unto the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus, this morning. Thank you, Lord, this morning for answering our prayer. Thank you, Father, for those testimony because we have connected to that testimony and there shall be replication of those testimony in the life of every worshiper, both on our ground. In a minute, go before the Lord this morning. Speak unto the Lord this morning that Lord I have come even this morning but to hear your word this morning. Lord, speak unto me this morning. I have come with an humble heart this morning to receive from your God this morning. Lord, speak unto me through your word this morning. Let your word, O oh God, change my word this morning. Let your word, O oh God, change my word this morning. Lord, let me not depart from here the same way I came, O God of heaven. Anything that, Lord, I'm full of this morning that will not make me to receive your word with meekness and gladness. Lord, this morning, God, empty me of those things this morning. Let there be infilling of the Holy Spirit, O God of heaven, this morning in me. Ask of the Lord this morning. Ask of the Lord this morning. Every stony heart, every trouble, I must receive the word with meekness and glad this morning. Let that be your prayer this morning. You are praying for yourself and you are praying for everyone that is watch, even connected online this morning. Let Kraparu Baleza Mase, that the sent to what we heal and deliver this morning. The entrance of his word will give light and it will give understanding to every worshiper this morning. Let Kraparu Baleza say, Lord, we ask of you this morning that in this quick exhortation this morning, Lord, we speak unto us this morning. Lord, our heart is set this morning. 
our heart is ready this morning. Lord God of heaven, speak unto us, O God of heaven. Everything that God you have proposed, everything that you have taught, O God of heaven, let it be delivered unto us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that at the end of this, O God, service this morning, O Lord, your name only shall be glorified. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed and given thanks. Praise the Lord, I am finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations, amen, and amen. Put your hand together for the Almighty God and be comfortably sitting in the presence of the Almighty God this morning. I count the great joy this morning even to be standing on this exalted altar this morning. I want to give God all the glory this morning. And I want to appreciate the, uh, the resident pastor in the house this morning for giving me the privilege even to bring God's word to God's people this morning. And my prayer for myself and for you this morning that even as you have come in to spread this morning, you, uh, you are not living the same way you came in Jesus' name. Whatsoever the word of God that God wants for you this morning, you shall receive with, with meekness and gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In our covenant hour of prayer for this week, has been captioned, why must we be committed to engaging our souls into the church? That's a question for you and I this morning. Why must I, why must you be committed to engaging your souls into the church? You know, we know that commitment is, you know, is a great deal in the kingdom. Praise the Lord. We are not, com we are not talking about the commitment, you know, through your eye service or lip service. We are committed to the commitment of the art. Praise the Lord. Because situation will change, you know, things will come, arise. But when you are daily committed, it's a different story. Praise the Lord. So we are talking about commitment of the art. You know, what is your, what is your, you know, what's your purpose? What is your in intention? Hallelujah. Because it's serving God and the interest, interest of the kingdom, not your own interest. Praise the Lord. So our commitment must be serving God and the interest of God's kingdom. Praise the Lord. And we are not re call, only called to bear fruit. We are also called to ensure that our fruit abide. And we, in John 15, 16, God has chosen you and I and also ordained you. And we don't need any other ordination. He said he has, he has chosen us and ordained us that we should go forth and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain. And he said, whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he said, I will, he may give it to you. Praise the Lord. So we are not only called to bear fruit, we are also called to ensure that those fruits are by. You know, it cannot defeat the purpose of you, you know, harvesting, you know, go through the, you know, sow and then harvest. And then when you, you know, you're supposed to bring it to the storehouse and you don't put it in the proper place. You put it in, in the front of the storehouse instead of inside the storehouse. Praise the Lord. So there's so many variables. You know, you go to the grocery store and you buy milk and then you come home and then you put it in the pantry. You know, there's a place to put them so that it is stored. Praise the Lord. I pray that God will give us more understanding. We must therefore be committed to every instruction, every scriptural instruction to avoid wasted labor. Praise the Lord. We must do what? We must be committed to every scriptural instruction to avoid wasted labor. You know, we talked about wasteful living in our WSA. Praise the Lord. That's another cause of poverty. Hallelujah. And that shall not be a portion in Jesus' name. Matthew 12, 30 says, He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattered abroad. So there are people that are gathering and there's people that are scattering. So if you are not, in, you know, if you are not, you know, praying, if you are not following every instruction, you are scattering. It's that simple. You know, it's not me. It's the word. He said, it that is not with me is against me. And we said that we must be, therefore be committed to every scriptural instruction. You know, is we don't take the one that is pleasing to us. Every word of God is as a purpose. You know, we don't pick and choose. There's no selective instruction. You know, the one that we obey. We have to obey every scriptural instruction, every prophetic instruction. Praise the Lord. So we, our commitment, you know, goes a long way in this kingdom. Praise the Lord. So... Daniel 12, 3 says, And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the famine, and they that turn many to righteousness as stars forever and ever. So if you must be a star in this kingdom, you must be committed. Hallelujah. People are running to audition even to be a star in the world. And it lasts for a season. It lasts for a moment. Situation will come, and they no more star anymore. But in this kingdom, even as you are committed to serving God and the interests of the kingdom, we are told that we'll be stars forever and ever. And that when we reach out to the souls across the office, if you have the interest, because think about it, you know, everything that we are doing is for our own benefit. When you, win, when you go to your neighborhood and you win everybody for Christ in that neighborhood, you know what happened to your neighborhood? It, there's a peace, there's serenity, you know, prayer, you know, the environment is associated with the glory of God. Everything that we do in this kingdom is for our purpose, praise the Lord. So when you go into your neighborhood, you take one neighborhood, one city for Christ, you see a change. You know, there's peace, the glory of God, there's free flow of the God of Spirit in that environment. 
think about that this morning. I pray that God will give you more revelation in Jesus' name. Quickly this morning, we shall look at one point. Why must we be committed to the ingathering of souls into the, into the church? He said, for the sanctification of our new convert and members. For the what? For the sanctification of our new convert and new member. And we know that sanctification is cleansing or purging from the nature of sin. When you cleanse and you purge, you know, that's what sanctification is, from the nature of sin. Praise the Lord. And that's what sanctification is. is. Hebrews 3.13 says, but exhort one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be adding through this deceitfulness of sin. Exhort one another daily while it is called today. You remember that tomorrow is not promised to anyone. Deal with things daily. And that's what we are talking about, dealing with things daily. We must exhort one another daily. We must exhort one another daily. We are to do it each day. Praise the Lord. In order we we'll constantly watch out for each other. That's what he's saying. Another you know, simple interpretation of that. We must watch out, constantly watch out for each other. Remember, we are talking about the convert, new convert and new member now. We must watch out for them daily, each day. Praise the Lord. Because every day, tomorrow is not promised to anyone. We must deal with it. That's why we must exhort one another day by day. Day by day. It's not tomorrow. Day by day. Praise the Lord. I pray that God will give us more revelation in Jesus' name. So for the sanctification of our new convert and new member, for the deliverance of our new convert from all ungodly age-long habits. Hallelujah. For deliverance of our new convert from all ungodly age, long age habit. That's the reason why we must be committed to engaging of all those souls into the church. Praise the Lord. Or but I once I would say, but upon Mount there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess a possession upon Mount Zion. That's why we must committed to engaging of all our new company, our new member into the church. Hallelujah for their deliverance, for their holiness until they come into the, you know, Zion. That's where their deliverance is. Praise the Lord. That's where the deliverance is. Praise the Lord. Hebrews 10, 25 says, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as a man or some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. So we know that online is there. Online is just to catch up. Praise the Lord. Online is just to catch up on what was said that you missed. It's not, it, it should not be our way of life. Praise the Lord. He said, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves. You know, we must continue to encourage, exhort all our new convert and new member, even to come into the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We must also understand this morning that the church is the cleansing center for God's people. Praise the Lord. The church is what is the cleansing center for God's people. He said, now you are clean through the word, according to John 15, 3. Now ye are clean through the word, which I have spoken to you. It's the word of God that will cleanse them. That's the reason why we must take a daily shower in the word of God. Earlier, the same way that you take shower, you must take shower in the daily word of God because there are so many things that you go through during the course of the day. We must cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit through the word of God. It is the word of God. It's not the word of men. It's not what people say to you that will cleanse you. It's the word of God. Earlier, there's a, there's a power in the word of God. Praise the Lord. Even that cleanse. And that's the reason why the church is a cleansing center for God's people. Ephesians, um, and even as I round up this morning, we must understand that sanctification is required for taking delivery of our inheritance in Christ. So in other words, even for you and I to take that which is meant for us in Christ, sanctification is a requirement. It's not, an, you know, it's not something that you, you, know, you say, oh, I don't need it. It's a requirement. It's required. If you and I must take delivery of our inheritance in Christ, Act 20, 32 say, and now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. He said, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all of them which are sanctified. And now, brethren, I commend you. You know what? I present to God. How do you present all our new converts and new members to God? You must pray for them. You must continue to labor on the altar of prayer for them. Praise the Lord. Because, you know, this scripture says, and now, I, brethren, I commend you to God. You know, in other words, when you say that command, it, I present you to God. How do you present them to God? You go before the Lord. You, you know, in your, you know, your, in your closet, you pray for them. You pray for the new convert and new member until they are established in faith, established in the church, become active disciples of Christ, and bring it to bring order to Christ. That's how you, you know, labor, you know, so that they can take their inheritance. Remember, in this kingdom, every, you know, there's a price for everyone. There's a price. It's, you know, everybody, God will give you 
according to your labor. Praise the Lord. So there's no competition. You know, when you do the work, God will bless you. You know, my in my blessing, your blessing will come. You know, there's more than enough for everyone in this kingdom. But we must be committed to the engaging of soul. Praise the Lord. And Second Peter 1, 3 says, According as his divine power has given unto us all the things that pertain unto life and godness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Everything that pertains unto life and godness, God has given unto us. But we must be committed, committed to the engaging of souls into the church. Especially when it comes to all our new converts and new members, we must be committed. We must pray for them. We must pray for them because there's so many issues and so many concerns that they are going through on a daily basis. There's sin that easily besieges them. There are addiction that must be destroyed, that must be broken out of their life. But it takes them coming to the house of the Lord, which, you know, which is a cleansing center. And then even as they receive the word, the word will cleanse them day by day. We are sanctified through the word. The word is the truth. Praise the Lord. I pray that God will give us more revelation of the word this morning. Let's rise up on our feet and begin to pray unto Almighty God that God, the grace even to be committed to the end of soul. Remember that we are co-laborers with Christ. Let's ask of the Lord this morning that, Lord, let my commitment be of the heart, not of the lips, nor of my eye service, but of the heart service unto the Lord. Is that your prayer this morning? Let my commitment be of the heart, O God of heaven, this morning. That Lord God of heaven, that will serve you and the interest of your kingdom. Let that be your prayer this morning. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory for your quick word this morning. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Put your hand together for the Almighty God this morning. Let's make that hand bigger for Jesus and lively. If you were blessed this morning with the word of God, give him praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In John chapter 15, verse 3, it says, And he are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. They can never be clean until the word is made known to them. And the best place, the best factory for the word is in Zion. Until they enter Zion, they can never be clean. Have you seen somebody who has been a die-hearted alcoholic smoking all kinds of nonsense and then enters the church first week, second week, second, third week now you become the, see the person start acting like somebody who has been like a baby forever. Something has taken place. The world is walking. The world is walking. They can only be cleaned in this house. That is why you and I must be committed in guarding them. We are not the people cleaning them. There's, our job is to go and what and bring. Once we bring them in the house, we should leave the rest for God. That is why we should never be tired going out. You know, when you bring that individual, you don't have anything to tell them. Allow God to start speaking to them. He will be meeting them at the point of their need. So let us never give up. Keep going out day and night so they can be sanctified. Sanctification takes time. It's not a one day something. That's why we have to be also be patient when we bring our converts in. You may still see them do the same thing they are doing. Let it, let it go. God is working in their lives. It's not by might, the Bible says. It's not by power, but by the spirit, by the spirit of the Lord. That means no matter your eloquent or how you think or shout, it can't change them overnight. If, if it was the case, then we can take a microphone or a big speaker go and stay in the street and shout. Then everybody in the city, as you hear the sound, you are repent. No, it is a process. So they can only be cleansed in the house. That is why we must make sure our job is to make sure they come into Zion. And they will not come until somebody goes out there. If that is so, shout a big amen. amen. That is why we should never. He said, why should I be committed in the encounter? That's number one thing. So that they can come in and be cleansed from all filthiness of the flesh. They can never be cleansed by our eloquent being financially viable, it, can, it doesn't change them. You can give them all the money you want out there. They will still remain the same. But when they come in, something will hit them. 
and they will be transformed. It happened to some of us. It can happen to everyone. Some of us came in not very clean, but the word, the word, the word, the word. Today, we are transformed. That shall be somebody push on. In the name of Jesus, bring out your church. Let's share the goodness. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Lift up your right hand. Go in peace. The Lord go with you. The Lord be with you. The Lord protect you. Your day is covered. All through this day, you'll be hearing good news. All through this day, you'll be hearing good news. All through this day, you'll be hearing good news. There shall be no evil come beside you. Everywhere evil is found, you will not be found there. You are protected from every evil. You will not be victim of any accident. You will not be victim of any gunshot. You are protected from all evil. You are exempted from all evil. You shall not be victim of any evil. In this city, you are exempted. You shall not be financially down. You will keep going up and not going down. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Therefore, your day is covered by the blood of Jesus. Your day is covered by the blood of Jesus. You will come back with your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Look at somebody, eyeball to eyeball. Tell that person, you are a star. You are a star. You are a star. Go and shine. Go and shine. Go and shine.